You are in the Temple of the Rants, where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for random user 2987 who says, Do a rant on my boyfriend Jackie, who loves Cream the Rabbit. Here's a rundown on him, and then links to a paste bin apparently written by Jackie. I'm just going to read it. Hey, the name's Jackie. I'm 23 years old, born and raised in VA, and have been notified that my friend sent a pledge to you on Patreon to rant about me. Since you're not aware of my existence, I figured I'd help you out and type a little something so you have some actual material to work with. So to start, I'm not sure why the fuck he's doing this. I guess it's to get egg on my face, like, oh no, some 2,000 randos are going to think I'm a weirdo. Ooh. The reality is I'm more worried about you having to read this boring tripe that is my life. So make sure you get yourself and the wife something nice with that 15 bucks. I'd recommend ordering a nice pizza or something. If any of your other roommates want some, tell them fuck off and get their own $15 by ranting about asinine crap on YouTube. Hey, I don't have any roommates anymore. Maybe I will get a nice pizza. Thank you very much. Maybe I already got a nice pizza. Um, actually, today I went to a place called uh, called uh, Teriyaki Madness, and it was fucking terrible. And it costed more than $15. Never again. Um... He's already shown interest in honing on to the fact that I am romantically interested with a little lady named Cream the Rabbit. And if you don't know who she is, she's just one of those throwaway Sonic characters the games are littered with. I, I know who Cream the Rabbit is. I've played Sonic Advance. In fact, I can't remember the last time she's ever been relevant, and I'm pretty certain she hasn't appeared in a game since Generations. But it's like, you're the lollycon guy. Or, but it's like, you're the lollycon guy, or at least a heavy advocator for lollies. Why the fuck would you care that I'm sexually interested in an underage cartoon rabbit? See, me and him joke and fuck around about stuff like that. I'm the kind of cunt who will type into our Discord and say, want to see my waifu, and post a pic of her shitting into a diaper or something. It's fun and we all get a laugh, but I don't know how the fuck he expects to translate that to you. So really, this whole fact was just waste of my time feeling the need to explain it, and yours for having to read said explanation. The funny thing about this is that all that guy said is, you love Cream the Rabbit. He didn't say, like in love with Cream the Rabbit, or like sexually attracted to Cream the Rabbit, just a fan. Cream the Rabbit's got a nice aesthetic. I appreciate Cream the Rabbit. I'm sure I've probably masturbated to Cream the Rabbit at least once in my life, since I've masturbated to most everything I've ever encountered. But, um, you know, you went and made it weird. You made it weird. All by yourself. Outside of her, I mean, what does he want me to say? I'm conflicted because I feel like to do a proper rant, you'll need all the info you can get. But then the thought of you reading through all of this just makes me go, fuck. And I become anxious about boring you and wasting your time, despite the fact you technically got paid to do so. Do I just list some juicy deets about my personality? Share highly specific and memorable moments that poorly articulate the grand scheme of my life's experiences? It's just a mess. Fuck it. I'll just list all the interesting facts I can come up with, and let you draw your own conclusion. When I was a freshman, I tried to adopt a plush kangaroo as my significant other and attempted to talk it to it, hoping I'd become crazy enough that it would start responding to me. In this time, I humped it until orgasm at least twice. This is relatable. You know, I used to... I, I was really jealous of all the bronies who had tulpas because uh, I was like, how do I break my mind enough to just be satisfied marrying my plush? that I'm already fucking anyways, you know? Um, unfortunately, can't get crazy enough, and you can't force it. I'm a self-proclaimed pokephiliac and have managed to achieve arousal by looking at the full-body back sprites from the fifth generation of games. Ver Ver Verizians was my fave. I don't know, I don't know what Verizian is. Um, you know, I, I, I like Pokemon porn as much as the next guy. I got suspended from school because I used to make motions like I was firing and pumping a shotgun by using a pencil and pointing it at other kids. I have done that. I love cross-dressing and joke about wanting to transition, but most of the time I just say it's a joke when I actually mean it. Oh, dude. Um, just go for it, dude. I enjoy making videos with my toys and sharing them with my friends. Uh, Unikitty is my favorite to play with. I don't know what that is. Losing online video game matches has triggered me enough to self-harm. I only ever hit myself. I'm too much of a bitch to use a razor. You gotta stop playing video games, dude. It's not... I don't understand people who get mad at video games. I can't give nearly enough of a shit. At worst, I just go, uh, oh, well, that was a waste of time. Um, everything I do, I can't help but see as some sort of evaluation of my self-worth. I cannot cut a piece of cake in front of others without feeling like this is the moment that decides if I am worthy of life or death. 
Well, it sounds like you know you're doing that, so you just got to fucking work on stopping. Just, like, think about how ridiculous it is that you're feeling that way and use that feeling to, you know, to to tell yourself, this is retarded, I need to stop feeling this because I obviously know that this is retarded. Um, One of my sexual fantasies is to be an abused housewife who gets beat regularly. I think there's a lot of a lot of women who feel that way. My mother's sister and grandmother were my primary caretakers. I resent the fact that I had a strong male figure who could have helped pull me away from being the confused, maladjusted queer I am. I resent the fact that I never had a strong male. I don't know how I read that wrong. Um, yeah. I have jerked off to the blueberry scene from Willy Wonka more times than you'd ever want to know. The blueberry scene? Where, like, she becomes as big as a blueberry? Is that just an inflation fetish? I don't know how you're going to take this. Like, I don't know if this is, I don't know if you're going to be like mortified that I read all this because you're the one who told me all of it. But, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not disturbed. I, I, I was in the Brony community. It's at, literally everyone in that community that I talked to was at least like this. Um, I have a clear connection with an imaginary anthro jackalope who lives in my head that I do, then I do my own family. A closer connection. Yeah. Um... Well, at least you have somebody. All of these facts are true, but I have only cherry-picked the most outrageous ones I can think of for the sake of looking interesting when I'm really not. And that's all I can think of. If this bored you to tears, then you can just tell my friend you have nothing to say. And if you specifically said, thanks for the money, dummy, that would really put a smile on my face. Thanks for the money, dummy. Anyway, uh, you're an okay guy. I don't care for anime analysis, but you yourself are interesting enough. My heart, Though my heart will always belong to Jesse. Sorry. I hope this will suffice. Peace. Hey, my heart will always belong to Jesse as well. I don't blame anybody for feeling that way. Well, um, you know, sounds like you've got things pretty, uh, pretty figured out. Sounds like you know what's going on. So, good luck. Try not to hurt yourself.